I'm working with 100% cotton yarn and a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to make the center flower. I wanted some tan colored cotton yarn and I didn't have any, so I stained this with coffee and this is how I did that. I just placed about a half a teaspoon of instant coffee in a saucer. I added some boiling water, mix that up, then I wound off about seven or eight yards of cotton yarn. I dropped it into the coffee like that and let it sit for a while. You could put it in the microwave if you wanted. And then I wrung it out and now I have this nice tan colored yarn. And here it is all dried. To make the center flower right here, start with a slip knot, chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. Single crochet in the ring. Make three double crochet in the ring. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert into the ring, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. So that was one, two, and three. Single crochet in the ring. Push all those together. And that's your first petal. You're going to make six petals in the ring. And to do that, you'll just go right to the double crochet. Make three double crochet. One, two, and three. And then single crochet. And again, push those over like that. So that's two, and you're going to repeat that to make six petals in the ring, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six petals in the ring. To make the back section, start with a slip knot, chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slip stitch to join. And form a ring. Chain three. One, two, three. That counts as a double crochet and a chain one. Slip stitch in the second stitch from the hook. And that forms a little pico at the end, like this. Now I'm going to make 24 double crochet in the ring with a pico on the end. So yarn around the hook, insert into the ring and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, Pick up the yarn, pull it through two. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to slip stitch in the top of the double crochet. And I'm going to repeat that to make 24. So yarn around the hook, insert into the ring, pick up the yarn and pull it through. Pull through two, pull through two, chain one, slip stitch in the top of the double crochet. Like that. And you're going to go ahead and make 24 double crochet in the ring like that and then your slip stitch to join in, in the top of that first chain two and that will be the back of the flower and pull the yarn end on the back into the finished work and that's how that looks and you could also use that flower on its own and then you're going to set your front section on there now you can sew a button or some beads in the center and of course you could use your flower just like this or you could add some tendrils to the bottom. To add the tendrils, start with a slip knot, chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. In the second stitch from the hook, one, two, make a single crochet. Now make five half double crochet in that same stitch. To make a half double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through all three loops. That was one, two, three, four, 
and five, then single crochet, and then slip stitch in the ring, like that. Fasten off, thread the yarn end into a needle, and then weave it into the chain. like that. Now you're going to make as many of these as you would like and each time start with a smaller chain. So that's your 12. So to make the next tendril start with your slip knot, chain 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Single crochet in the second stitch Make five half double crochet, one, two, three, four, and five. Single crochet, slip stitch, and fasten off. Thread the yarn end into a needle and weave it through the chain. And you'll have two in different lengths. So I'm going to make one more like this. Now I have three. You could make as many as you like. So I'm just going to tie these all into a knot. And you can either just pull that through and tie a knot, or you can weave your yarn ends back and forth into the finished work. And I'm just going to tie mine. Pull this yarn end through the flower at the back. And tie a knot like that and there you go there's the finished flower you could make a different colored center and that's how that would look and here are a few different variations that you can make on these flowers just by changing either the color of the center flower or the center bead or button that you place in the center And that's how easy it is to crochet this focal flower. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.